Of all the subjects in the idealized world he loved to paint, childhood was among Rockwell's favorites. Drawing on recollections from his own youth, he painted kids at work, at play, with pets, and of course, in school. From his covers, you might get the impression that Rockwell disliked school and only lived to be released from the classroom. But Rockwell was indebted to school, or more properly, to a Miss Julia M. Smith, one of his elementary school teachers. She recognized his artistic talent at an early age, and she encouraged him to draw, asking him to put holiday pictures on the blackboard for the class. She was probably on his mind when he painted this classroom's tribute to a beloved teacher. Only now, Miss Smith was Miss Jones. As always, Rockwell carefully arranged the details of his set and his models. Probably recalling how he behaved as a kid, he included a boy clowning for the class, first putting a book on the child's head, but eventually using a different boy and a different prop. Miss Jones was modeled by Mrs. Ann Brayman. In her photo, she doesn't appear quite as skinny, prim, or plain as the Miss Jones Rockwell painted. Some readers objected to the way Rockwell painted her. They were reacting to an old stereotype of women teachers. In the days when teaching was about the only profession open to single women, the typical school marm was thought of as homely, repressed, and lonely, perhaps not unlike Miss Jones. But Rockwell wasn't trying to make a caricature of teachers. With his Miss Smith in mind, he wanted to paint a tribute to selfless educators. He later said he wanted to capture the features of a teacher who was patient, hardworking, and devoted to her students, students who returned her devotion. This video was brought to you by the Saturday Evening Post Digital Archives. Saturday Evening Post members can explore our 200-year-old archive for only $15 a year. Subscribe today.